tell you about before taking the kids trick-or-treating this Halloween that change impacting how you identify registered sex offenders in the state of Missouri. First Lord 4's Elena Chappie is here to explain. Elena. Cameron, there's a new revision to the Missouri law as it pertains to Halloween and sex offenders, but with the change, there's still ways to keep your children safe. It's calm now, but in just a couple of days, trick-or-treaters will knock on doors and before putting on those costumes. Halloween's a big, big day for young people, big day for older people as well. Safety is top of mind for many this Halloween. I think the number one thing that we do is we just do everything with him. But for Missouri's registered sex offenders, there's a new revision to Missouri state law. In years past, a sex offender had to post a sign stating no candy or treats at this residence. That's now removed from the statute as a judge ruled that part of the law unconstitutional. For this St. Louis couple, they plan to use the Missouri State Highway Patrol database to see who's around them. So you just as a parent need to be that little bit more concerned and you just need to take that moment and go on the database and just make sure who's in your neighborhood and what all's going on. And as long as you do that and you're safe, you're yeah. covered. There you can find a list of where registered sex offenders reside. So we definitely encourage people to check their neighborhoods, check their streets, just check around anywhere where they plan to trick or treat before trick or treating so they can know what homes to avoid, um, possibly even who to look out for. Even with the update, sex offenders are still required to keep their porch light off, stay inside between 5 p.m. and 10.30 p.m., and avoid all Halloween-related contact with children. In Illinois, the Attorney General is urging parents to use the Illinois State Police Sex Offender Registry Map. It's similar to the one in Missouri. You can find the registry map on the Illinois State Police website. Once there, you just need to click Sex Offender Mapping, and it will take you to a map, and you can click exactly where you want to find uh, where a sex offender may live. All you need to do is click a certain area. It'll take you to that area, and it will show you a five-mile radius of where sex offenders live. To find the links for the registry maps, head on over to this story on our website. Cameron. All right, Elena, thank you so much. We want to turn